I chose I wanted to study law largely out of family tradition. Uh, I had a father who is still a lawyer, now a retired lawyer, a brother who had gone through Auckland Law School. Uh, I knew a lot about what their experiences there and it sounded like an interesting thing to do. Uh, they'd clearly both had a good time there and I knew a lot of people going and everything I'd heard had been very positive. I came into law school expecting I'd go into legal practice and that's what happened. Uh, as it happened, when I left law school, I decided I wanted to go overseas and I spent the first 18 months practicing law in Tel Aviv. Uh, then I came back and joined Russell McVeigh. And then I did a couple of different uh, postgraduate years, one at Cambridge University and one at New York University, uh, interspersed with a couple of extra years at Russell McVeigh. So I certainly came in expecting that legal practice would be a big part of my future. There's no doubt that when you're practicing law, the academic training that you've had at law school is critical. You understand legal concepts. You've still, a lot of the case law is still fresh in your mind. You've learned a little bit how to think as a lawyer. I'm thinking back to that TV show or film, The Paper Chase, when you talk about how to think like a lawyer. And that's very much what I remember from the law school. You've got a lot of content, but also just a lot of mind training in terms of how to think about legal concepts and analyse legal concepts. Obviously the job I'm doing now is not specifically a legal job, but the legal training is important at a couple of levels. Number one, as a CEO, you're dealing with legal concepts, you're dealing with contracts, you're dealing with litigation, all those sorts of things. So the little bit of law you had can be a dangerous thing, but it's actually quite useful. But there's also this way of thinking that law has taught you about analysing issues, analysing risk, which in business is extremely important. And I also go back to what I learned as the fundamentals of company law about why companies are here, the importance of obligations to a wide variety of stakeholders. And I often draw to those basic concepts of corporate law and why companies exist in my day-to-day -day work. My experience with the law faculty was outstanding. Uh, I've, I know some of the people are still here and obviously some of them aren't after that long a period of time. I found many of the professors to be passionate, uh, understood their field very well, but also had a love of teaching. And I recall from law school there was a combination of really good academic insight, but also a love of teaching. And I think of classes I had with a number of professors, Julie Maxton, Peter Watts, Ron Patterson, uh, people who really enjoyed their subject, but were also legal academics of stature and that really shone through. I look back on my time at law school with very fond memories. I had a great time studying law. I had a great time as a student. I'm still in contact with a number of friends who have remained very close friends since we started becoming friends at law school. And I look back on the faculty my time at law school with a uniformly positive view and feel very happy and privileged to have been given that quality of education and had a good time while doing it. What I'll say about law is that in the way it trains your mind and the concepts it exposes you to, it really prepares you for a wide variety of options in your career outside the practice of law. And so to the extent that people are saying, I might enjoy learning law, but I'm not sure I'm going to practice it, that is by no means a barrier to studying law. I think law as a general academic training is extremely valuable.